Okay, welcome back for episode 8 of um, my final campaign with Warhammer Total War 2. We are continuing to oppress our uh, attack against the Greenskins. Um, and in the last episode, we made some gains, but I also made a really stupid mistake or two. And lost more troops than I should have out of a couple of my armies. But we should be able to salvage it. <clears throat> yes, and here we had seen that, gosh, all of Ulthuan just gone to the Dark Elves. Look at that. The Chaos Corruption looks like, yeah, 99%. Oh, poor Ulthuan. All right. What do we have here? This really should go decent for me. I'm a little worried about all of his cavalry coming in and outflanking me. But we'll see what happens. I got my flamethrower guys and a fair number of uh, longbeards. Longbeards, they're, they're decent. Or I could lose a whole bunch of them and auto-resolve it. I'm going to fight it out. We'll uh, start this episode here with uh, with some combat. Open field. Okay. That's a thing. I want to avoid some of this crud that's going to block line of sight. But we're going to move up a little bit. Well, no, you know what? Yeah. And we'll move up a little bit after deployment. I'll use those rocks as kind of a natural uh, natural flank protection. Yeah, that that there is something I'm worried about. Well, I don't know. We'll see what comes of it. Yeah, take that ogre charge. Yeah, that's that's going to be an issue. Those ogres, um, are taking heavier casualties than I expected. Good. He is. Those ogres are keeping the um, the trolls distracted. So that is good to see. Ready. 
Going good there. This is an issue. What are you doing? Get in there and fight. Good. Cannon's doing cannon stuff. Just fight. I had hoped to get at least one shot off with them. Okay, good. Form up. And just blast him. Blast him. What are you waiting for? Blast him. There you go. That's an issue. What are you doing there? Go. Oh, you need you need to be running and charging. Oh, and he is actually kind of hurting. I'm going to bring you into the back. That's actually not good. And you guys are almost wiped out. That was actually a tougher victory than I expected. Get those black orcs. Just trying to take a couple extra casualties here on the way out. Maybe enough to wipe out one of these units. Doing some cycle charging back and forth. Yeah, you know, those... Those Mornfang Cavalry have not been as effective as I expected. I am disappointed by them and their performance. I, I think that I am going to swap them out. Come on, there's like one Black Orc left. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I would probably, I mean, where's the casualty report there? Yeah, 32. I would be better served by another cannon. Or another regiment of quarrelers. Oh, those guys did okay. I'll take the gold. Mm. Yeah. That's a fair price to pay. I'll just auto resolve it. Okay, I saw some other movement over there. Not a big fan of defensive alliances. Do not want chaos corruption. Refuse the creature. Oh, come on. Really? There's going to be grudges and stuff from that. I don't want to be wasting my time on this. Grimnir 
is with us. Much better, much better. Summon me if you dare. All right, we're going to have to go with long beards to sort of fill in the gaps. Yes. Yup. Yes. And where was Yeah, you guys, you disappointed. For the wisdom. You disappointed big time. Oh, okay. Well, that that is that's a thing. Does this guy have He I do not think has lightning strike yet. He does not. Okay. That one might be a wog army or something. It, it looks like it's all full of goblins, which is no threat whatsoever. Okay. And how is this doing? We are out of gold. But we got six iron breakers. All right, what do we need? We need to Yeah. I'm gonna have to leave him there for another turn. Well, I don't know. We can grab, we can grab like some slayers on the way up. Just thinking out loud over that. Okay, which guy is this? Right. All right. So he's, he is in the thick of it. So I am going to give him some extra replenishment. Up. Oh, okay. Now we got some lightning strike. All right. Yeah, some of these other, these texts I skipped over aren't really going to be super relevant right now, but we'll see. I have to raid a greenskin territory. This is a stupid distraction. All right, what do they have? They've got Minotaurs, Warhounds, Cygors, Ungor Raiders, and more Ungor Trash. That really ought to be a decisive victory auto-resolve. But I'm worried about this. What I'm worried here is this guy doesn't have lightning strike, and they're going to come down and gang up on him. And that will be a problem. Because I don't, I don't want to, obviously, I don't want to have that guy wiped out. Oh, that is not what I expected. He consolidated instead of ganging up. 
Okay, well, that was a strategic error on his part. Um, chances are strong that this is going to be a counterattack that is worthwhile for me. Your reach grows yet further, great lord. Your endless victories are changing the very fates themselves. The world falls before your incredible power. There's a lot of black orcs. But I've got a lot of iron breakers. All right, so I am going to fight that out. But I do want to take a minute and go through some of the rest of this first. The casualty replenishment is relevant at the moment. Oh, okay. We have Grimgor himself. This army is probably... Oh, level 33. Oh, man. Oh, and I'm like gimping over here. All right, not good. Not good. Master of Runecraft. Yeah. What? Oh, these stupid guys. March. Time for a reckoning. The good news is. If I can take out Grimgor somehow, like this, fighting Norgrim, because my units are already wounded, that's probably a loss for me. But, if I sacrifice Crookback Mountain, That might actually be a better play, and I will lock him down there for a two-on-one siege. We'll see what happens. Might not work. High risk, high reward. And let me find which one of these is probably most likely to survive. Alright, and I needed to recruit down here. Mm. Yeah, that'll work. Twelve percent ward save, that is decent. Just um, preparing for that fight that I'm about to do, but I'm unfortunately not going to actually have any of those items equipped when the fight starts, but they'll be, bit, they'll be there for next turn at least. Now what is it going to cost me if I auto-resolve it? It's going to cost me the garrison, but I don't care about the garrison, so I'll just crush him. Yeah. I mean, that did kind of hurt, but probably as good as I can hope for. Now, what is this army? Oh, okay, he's got... This is actually a decent one. Rank 17. 
But if he does not make it down to attack in one turn, I'll at least uh, have my items equipped. He may also move east, which is an issue because I'm kind of exposed over here. But Grimgore is a problem right now. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I do not need military access from the Golden Order. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Okay. I will sacrifice that, and what does he have? <coughs> Excuse me. That is a relatively solid army. I am worried about that. Okay, and that was again probably... Oh, jeez, he's got more reinforcements coming. Wait, is he, like, completely ignoring the Chaos Invasion up to his north? Okay, can't quite make it in one turn there. I can here. No, I can't. I can, however, take Mount Silverspear and forge another artifact. No? No. Oh, well. All right. Morgrim's gears of Quick war will churn once again. For the wisdom of Valea. This is actually a relatively solid army. Do I at least have my goodies? I at least have my goodies. My worry is... That he's going to be smart and bring down Kruga Blood Reaper to reinforce. Okay. Yeah, that is a problem. That army's trash, but his positioning is a problem. So, we're going to start preparing for even more shenanigans. And we're just going to build up kind of, um, kind of a basic army in the back here. This isn't going to be anything super fancy. I'm probably going to, we'll base it around long beards instead of iron breakers just to reduce the upkeep cost. All right, which guy is this? Okay. Summon me if you dare.
Five percent ward save is decent. We'll uh, we'll go with some of that. Okay. Where was it? Here it is. This is going to be a tough fight. I might not have a lot of commentary here. Because um, this one is genuinely going to be a problem. I am not really happy at all. With how this battle is going to develop. To 
Yeah, this was a lost cause. That was a complete, complete failure. But given that my units were half damaged at the beginning of that fight, I'm not sure what else I could have done differently. If I held and didn't attack, he would have moved in that second full doom stack um, in order to reinforce. And if this doesn't automatically lose me the settlement, that's what he's going to do next turn anyway. I am not going to let them capture all of my magic items. <laughs> and I think that was the end of my turn. That's a problem. So we, we had some early success against the Greenskins, but their their counterattack is here, so far effective. And they're just rolling in with quantity. That's all some of that is. Okay, Grimgor. Really? Auto-resolve? The only thing it's going to cost me is the Great Axe? All right. I'm, I'm happy to crush Grimgor on an auto-resolve. I'll take that. Yeah, that was expected. That turn was not as bad as I expected. They're continuing that siege instead of pressing. Okay. Uh, yes, we will absolutely tribute the gods. And the 500 grudges that have been created, that's going to be a thing. But one problem at a time. We'll take back Spite Peak and demolish this on an auto-resolve. That's what I thought. I'm not... Well, I don't know. Armed and ready. Iron brown. I do need to take Crookback Mountain back. That's... That's for sure. So it's war! Good! Always our best. Some of these territories out here on the flank, I am... I am inclined... To actually, like, start making some defensive fortresses in them. But, alright, so what is going on over here? Yeah, Death Gorge is definitely going to be <clears throat> a sore point. Alright, you are done. So you are going to start... Booking it as fast as possible. You are still recruiting, so let's get your engineer embedded in. Okay, any regiments of renown that we want to put in here? None. And no ogres to worry about? All right, Thoric, what are we doing? Yeah, I guess we'll start actually working on his runes. That's not bad, but he's, he's going to be off fighting. So I guess we'll actually start working on upgrading his runes.
Mm. Yep, just we're we're just gonna keep doing that. Oh, useful, <laughs> timely, very timely. Also very timely. All right, almost got our lightning strike, and I still cannot believe that he did not press that attack. But that is just fine. I will, I will absolutely accept that outcome. Which one is Karakazol? All right. Oh. Oh. Okay. Good. Good. Right, this is this is a worthwhile thing to spend some gold on. Yeah, that's decent. The upkeep minus three for quarrelers. That's very much worth pursuing. Uh, there's chaos invasions getting out of hand. Alright, you're still doing your stuff there. Alright. And you know what? I don't need you anymore. So I will kick you and help my my income for armies in the field. Now the question is, it seems obvious that Kruga Blood Reaper here is going to move in and attack this guy. But the question is, do I consolidate all these units? Yeah, I think... I think the thing to do is going to be to recruit in a fresh regiment of renown. One of these. Just by virtue of it. What's the ammo look like on that guy? Okay. Um, just by virtue of it being at full strength when that combat starts. What do you require of Karaka? No, I do not want military alliance. Okay, this was expected. And <clears throat> it's just going to be a waste of time if I fight it out. You're telling me this is a valiant defeat? I don't think so. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is a respectable stack of troops, but I don't think he's going to get through all of my longbeards there. All right, the miners, you guys are going to be speed bump throwaway. As are these dwarf... Well, no, you know what? They are going to cover a flank. They are going to eat the charge from some of that nonsense.
sorry, just um planning my my suicide here. Yeah, they are going to be there to go after that giant when he gets in. The quarrelers are going to do quarreler things a little bit further back. All right, where's my... It doesn't look like he has any kind of artillery, but just for good measure. Well, no, you know what? Well, well, yeah. All right, what am I forgetting? Forgetting. Okay. I am not super enthusiastic about these lines. But I'm not sure what else I can do, given the circumstances. Goblin Great Shaman. Yeah, you are going to get some attention from those Ogre Cavalry if they live long enough to get over there. Yep. Okay. Oh, those fanatics were very well placed. Him busy. Get in there. Get that giant. Get, get, get in there. Wig hoppers are not something I want hopping around my lines. You need to come back this way.
Okay, the ogres are broken, but that's fine. One chariot. That's a problem that he's broken and fleeing. Most of that is breaking, so let's get all of this. Onto this goblin. Okay, got him. Okay, maybe, uh, maybe that was a, a close victory there. <clears throat> that was closer than I expected, but it worked out. Those long beards, they did pretty good. Oh, that cannon, 97, not bad. Come on. You seek the favor of Iron Peak. Yep. Non aggression pact with the Wood Elves. That is just fine. Oh boy. Alright, so now we got all kinds of problems. They're. Their counterattack is proving to be somewhat effective. My axe thirsts for war. Beards in belt. The axe thirsts for war. All right, let's get some artillery into this army. Yeah. And where were we? We were uh, yeah, I don't like that vampire corruption. This is a problem. gonna have to deal with that with some grudge nonsense. Black Iron Mine. You know what? That'll be... Tried and tested. Iron Brow. 
that'll be good to do. Now this. This is a, a conundrum. I'm thinking, like... I'm literally just going to flood this army with slayers. And just everything I can just to get some full strength units. And just auto-resolve this guy out of existence. Yep. That turned out to be the correct move. Just to eliminate that particular threat. Okay, and we are exploring with you. What I'm hoping is I'm going to maybe get some contact with, like, some lizard man factions. But it is looking like these dark elves are everywhere. Oof. All right. What do we want to do here? Where was, um... Yeah, that that might be more relevant very soon. Alright, what did we get for grudges coming out of that nonsense? Alright, we still gotta raid the Greenskins. We gotta kill Greebits. And we gotta take... Okay. Oh, he's got three full-strength armies back here. Hmm. Just um, thinking medium term how I want to try and handle some of this. Might not be a bad idea to start recruiting here in Karak Azul and just make like a basic army of dwarf warriors and quarrelers. But... I don't know. We'll see how the next couple of turns go. Okay. That was roughly expected. I kind of thought that turn was going to be worse. The next time you see Clack. Greetings, Knight. I don't want a military alliance with Bretonia, who is at war with some factions I want to maintain peace with. Okay. Master of Runecraft. If you want something done right, taxes are not. So it's war. Good. Done wrong. Can I help you? I'll get on it. I am worried about them sending an army down and hitting me from behind but I can't really worry about that right now I really need to start pressing this direction
Oh, interesting. Okay. I've been waiting a long time for that. All right, that'll be a good position there. Oh, man. All right, there's going to be some heavy combat in the next couple of turns. And I can only assume he's sending reinforcements in just like I am. So, we've been going for a while. Um, I am going to call this before we get into some heavy fighting in the next episode. So uh, check back next time to see what happens with this kind of war of attrition against the Greenskins, seeing who can throw more reinforcements in quicker. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.